Say, so guys, um, I just got done watching the NVIDIA thing. I just wanted to do a quick and simple video. Sorry about the video quality and all that, but I'm just sharing my thoughts on what I thought of the uh, event. Um, the RTX technology, the new uh, combination of the tensor cores and stuff in there is really cool. So I came away with it with a couple of questions. So there, it does seem like it's easy to implement for developers, so that's cool. So, so far I'm seeing, um, I got the games up here, Arc, uh, Assetto, Corsa, or however the fuck you say that, um, Atomic Heart, Battlefield 5, Control, uh, Dauntless, In Death, uh, is that Enlisted, I think, Final Fantasy, The Forge Arena, Fractured Lands, Hitman 2, Justice, JX3, uh, MechWarrior 5, Metro Exodus, uh, Player Nim Battlegrounds, uh, Remnant from the Ashes, some of these games I've not heard of yet, Serious Sam 4, Shadow to Tomb Raider, and We Happy Few. So that's what they have up on stage, or had up on stage, and um, it's going to support this. Now what it is, it's um, a type of ray tracing where it's only ray tracing what your eye see. So basically from the pixel or from the screen standpoint uh, in layman's terms. Now there's going to be a lot of channels that are going to get into this a lot better than I am. I think it's cool tech, but the thing I did notice uh, right away with it, um, when they were showing an actual global demonstration, they had to render it in a small box. Um, and apparently the Star Wars demo was running at 20 frames or something like that originally on that hardware. Um, so it does, like something like in the early days of physics or something like that, it does cause a draw on the um, overall like speed or draw rate. Now they claim the actual, just like, you know, the um, uh, SM part, they made some changes about how, how it can change the order um, of what it's doing and, um, and whatnot. So it can do different processes simultaneously that it couldn't before, so that's supposed to improve performance. And, and guys like PC Per and stuff like this are going to get more detail than I am. I'm just interested from a gamer standpoint. So I'm not as technically inclined as a lot of these guys. Um, but what I did see and I was noticing very closely is when I showed Tomb Raider, I was amazed at the Shadows demo. But when they went to Battlefield and they showed Reflections... Um, when I was watching the demo, I noticed that the shadows were not being affected the same way that they were in to Tomb Raider. So it seems like at this point in time with the RTX technology, it's something that the developers going to have to pick and choose whether they want reflections or realistic shadows or something like that. And then that has to be turn turned on or off. You know, when you turn it on and off, it's going to affect that, like, one thing. And that seems like that's how they're keeping the frame rate up. Um, the other question I have from the hardware standpoint is the... Tensor cores, they said it's 110 uh, teraflops. Um, so, but they showed it in FP16, and what I know of floating point is they usually test in both 16 and 32. 16 will always net you a higher number. So, for instance, like something like the Nintendo Switch, because I've been playing that lately. Um, uh, FP16 rating will have that up close to like a teraflop, you know, like a little over teraflop. And that makes it sound like it's close to the Xbox One in power. It's actually not, because the Teraflop 1.3 is at FP32 on that system. And I'm sorry for the lighting. It keeps on... It's just set on auto. Um, for uh, FP32, though, it's much lower. It's like 200 to 400 gigaflops, whether it's docked or, or not docked. Now, that doesn't matter, because something like Mario Kart that ran at, like, 720, um, the Wii was technically, like, around 350, maybe the CPU was what was holding it back, but Mario Kart, uh, or Wii, Mario Kart 8 runs, uh, better at less computational power because of some of the new software and stuff that's come out since then to help, like, ease, like, the load on rendering and stuff like that. So, um... Uh, teraflops is not always an indicator, and it sounded like that was just a tensor core part. That's the part that the AI works with to figure out reflections and shadows and all that. I don't think that's the actual part that's drawing the 3D image. And so, um, it's cool that they've kind of built this, like, ASIC-specific kind of thing for graphics now and for ray tracing and all this. But, uh, it's not... 
it's not um it's not there yet for me like it, it's cool it's 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 kind of like in that physics territory it's like you can turn this on or turn this off um but it's not everything yet um and i don't know for me like for a uh, 2070 starting out at 500 bucks and then uh, 2080 ti being basically tesla price at a thousand um i don't know i i don't know if i could tell anybody that it's really worth it right now i would say when more games come out and the price of those go down a little bit cheaper i would say it would be worth it and i'd be totally into it but um yeah for right now i'm pretty much a no-go on it I'm not down on the technology. The technology is cool as hell. Um, it is really cool, and I thought what I saw was cool. And I just don't know how somebody... Like, I don't think AMD's interested in responding to this at all. Um, AMD seems like this is just an overall generalized, you know, um, kind of the way I see it is... I think AMD is just mostly focusing on making graphics for consoles now and for their console partners and then they can take that whatever they made that technology slap it onto a card and try to sell it at like a mid-range price or something like that that's that seems like what they're going into now and so they won't have this technology going into the future unless they implement something of their own and i just don't see amd really interested in that anymore they're trying to figure out how to sell to the mass market and they're doing that through consoles it seems like now so um, yeah, NVIDIA, good job, price is a little high, uh, technology needs to mat mature a little bit, and I need some more answers on how this thing actually performs. You claim it's that much better, but is it that much better just in RTX games, or is it just that much better in all games? That's, that's what I want to know. So anyways, and that's what you other YouTubers out there that are smarter than me and know what all this terminology and shit means... That's what you guys have to do. So, uh, yeah, good luck, I guess. Anyways, that was just my initial thoughts. I just wanted to put something down on video real quick while I was thinking about it. Um, but it is it is really cool shit. But, yeah, just too pricey right now. I'm going to pass on this one. So, anyways, guys, if you like this video, um, yeah, I didn't put any work into it. I just turned the camera on. But uh, if you liked what I had to say, I guess, uh, give me a huge thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.